Greetings fellow travelers, Matt from William Henry coming at you one more time with another peek behind the curtain at the studio. Hope this message finds you well and um, for this installment of the ongoing series I wanted to talk about the F-28 which is William Henry's first ever fixed blade sheath knife. Started William Henry 24 years ago and in the very early days I actually prototyped along with some of the original pocket knives, folding knives that we ended up making. I prototyped a few fixed blades, uh, but decided to put my attention entirely on pocket knives and pocket knives and then pens and money clips and jewelry and a variety of other things uh, has kept our attention for a very long time, my attention. But about a year and a half ago, I was actually sitting at a trade show in a quiet moment sketching on my sketch pad and I sketched a design for a fixed blade that really got my attention. Uh, and took a year and a half but it became the F28. So it is our first fixed blade and uh, how did we get the name? <laughs> we actually name each edition within the F28 based on the handle materials that we use, the Grove, the Tucson, the Epic, what have you. But the F28 is the general model number and um, uh, just in terms of how creative I can be, F for fixed blade, uh, 28 because the original prototype that I did had a 2.8 inch long blade. The actual cutting edge was 2.8 inches. So the F28 was my file name. Um, but then once I'd made the prototypes, and here is uh, an example of one of the first prototypes with zinc matrix turquoise and carbon fiber and what have you. Um, um, I felt I just didn't quite have the right flow to me. So I updated it. I don't know if you can see the difference here. Um, but the, this guy is actually the F28 Epic in production, and that blade is just about two tenths of an inch longer, right to three inches. But we left the F28 name. So, anyhow, here's an example of a finished piece. This is with Mammoth Tooth, uh, beautiful 67 layer uh, VG10 Damascus blade, uh, G10 surrounding the Mammoth Tooth, and a sort of a bolo braided cord uh, with sterling silver accent lanyard. So. Uh, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, comes in a very nicely made and nicely branded sheath. We do both black and brown. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the construction and I will try to not bore you too much. But the entire blade, the tang, all of it is Damascus. Um, and even here, again, you see it better in better photos, but those 67 layers show on the edge. So what I decided to do is use an all screw construction. So I actually have five threaded spacers that run inside the handle and then the G10 and the tooth screw onto those spacers. And what that allows us to do is fully polish this blade to a mirror finish, put the handles on in our shop, completely shape those handles um, so that everything is seamless and perfect. These finishes are just there. You can't feel anything. It's just really nice in the hand and then take it all back apart because of the screw construction, clean it all up, etch that blade, and when we put it back together, the entire blade is beautifully etched, um, but the seams are invisible. Uh, because that's that multiple step sort of, if you just pinned it or you glued it, you wouldn't be able to take it apart and put it back together and get that beautiful etched Damascus finish everywhere without any seams that you can feel. The other thing that's very distinctive about this piece, and I'm sure we'll be rolling some better images, is, <coughs> When I first designed it, I was thinking, well, I'm making a Damascus knife. I'm making a Damascus, you know, the Damascus is beautiful and you see it in the blade and you kind of see it around the edge of the tang where the G10 meets it, but I want to be able to see more of it. I want to be able to appreciate it. So uh, that first sketch had, and again, hard to see here, but you'll be able to see in, in the images that we'll put on this video, a channel between the G10 and whatever inlay we were using. And that intention was both to create sort of a striking architecture that I hadn't seen before, but also to reveal the Damascus in that channel in the handle section of the blade rather than just in the, in the, in the or the handle part of the knife rather only on the blade. So it's a very distinctive construction. It took us a little while to figure out how to do it, but the result is very William Henry. It's visually striking. It's very comfortable in the hand. Um, very easy to wear and um, it's our first fixed blade you know I'm really proud of it and um, there are more in the works because once you get me started it's hard to hold me back 
Uh, but the F-28 is sort of history making for us uh, in that almost 24 years uh, since I first started designing and imagining uh, William Henry, um, we've released our first fixed plate, the F-28. We have it in six different flavors uh, on the website. So far, we haven't really been able to keep up with demand. That's a good problem. Um, but uh, check it out. And thanks, as always, for spending a little time with me.